I feel good in my soul. I hope you do as well. The rock, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, I want to greet you again. Uh, happy to be here. I think it's always a little bit nervous. But uh, excited to see what the Lord will do. I thank the Lord for uh, Bishop Strong and his wife. Uh, our state overseer. Uh, for allowing me uh, this opportunity to stand for you. Por permitirme esta oportunidad de estar aquí frente a ustedes. I do stand before you with great fear and reverence. Y estoy aquí parado en frente de ustedes con gran temor y reverencia. To the Almighty God. A Dios Todopoderoso. For allowing me to preach to the saints tonight. Por permitirme que yo pueda predicar a sus santos esta noche. And I would like to, before I begin the message. Y antes de empezar el mensaje me gustaría. I like to obey those that are over me in the Lord. Me gusta obedecer a los que están sobre mí en el Señor. Um, and just uh, quickly, y rápidamente, uh, give you a little uh, summary of what's going on in our own church. Y decirles un poco de lo que está pasando en nuestra iglesia local. From the evangelism. Del departamento de evangelismo. Into the harvest. A la cosecha. Sorry, into his heart. A su cosecha. Luke 10, 2. Lucas 10 y 2. Uh, we know that the souls are uh, in his harvest. Nosotros sabemos que las almas están en esa cosecha. The world, in the world, y el mundo, seeking for refuge. Están en el mundo buscando refugio. In the need of, of a savior. Y en uh, necesit necesidad de un salvador. God has blessed a local church. Dios ha bendecido nuestra iglesia local. Well, allowing some members to live in a different city. A permitir que algunos miembros vivan en otra ciudad. Canapolis, North Carolina, and that has opened doors to have outreach. Y eso ha abierto las puertas para poder tener esta para poder alcanzar. There in that community. Allí en esta comunidad. We have prayed about it and sought the Lord. Hemos orado y hemos buscado al Señor. And I said, Lord, if it's your will that we open up a, a white field here. Y dije, Señor, si es tu voluntad que podamos abrir un campo blanco aquí. And then it's a mission. Y luego que se convierta en una misión. Later on a church. Y da tal vez después una iglesia. So be. Que así sea. The souls are yours. Las almas son tuyas, Señor. And we're just laborers here. Y nosotros todos somos obreros aquí. But I know you call me to work. Pero yo sé que me has llamado para trabajar. And meanwhile, I still live. I want to give my all to the Lord. I haven't done it alone. Uh, we have a lot of members here from Charlotte. I would kindly ask if they could all raise their hand. Everybody from Charlotte. And the help of these beloved saints. Their prayers, sus oraciones, their love, su amor, and their uh, endeavor y, uh, sus esfuerzos, to go ahead and reach these souls. Para poder ir alcanzar estas almas. We've had numerous services. Hemos tenido muchos servicios. We started first with a Sunday school extension. Empezamos primero con la extensión de escuela dominical. Having a Sunday school in homes. En tener escuela dominical en hogares. In a mobile home park. En un, una, un lugar de trailers. And bringing those around the neighbors. Y que los home. vecinos que estuvieran alrededor que también vinieran. Trying to get them excited about the rock. Para que ellos se emocionen sobre esta roca. Jesus Christ. Jesucristo. And God supplied a building in which we don't know how we've been able to afford it. But we know it has to be the Lord. We have a blessing to have a brother uh, Garcia. And Sister Garcia preached for us there uh, one night. We had a great outpouring of the Holy Ghost. And we brought that blessing to Charlotte. Y esta a Charlotte. And what we're trying to do Lo que hacer is turn this world yeah. upside down. Es que este mundo se, se al, al revés. For the gospel of Jesus Christ. Con el de and the message okay. of the church of God. Y el de la de Dios. Uh, we are trying to make this known. Estamos intentando hacer esto saber. Not for our glory. No para nuestra gloria. Not for the glory of the Lord. Pero para la gloria de Dios. And we have a mission operating there in Canapolis. Tenemos una misión ahí operando en Canapolis. Uh, some brothers travel there and support. Y los hermanos van y viajan y apoyan. 
Victoria. From Charlotte to uh, to Annapolis. Charlotte and Annapolis. Some even donate funds to go ahead and pay for the building. And we've seen souls walking by and just looking inside the building. Y hemos visto almas que caminan alrededor y solo miran adentro del edificio. And even some have entered inside the building. Y aún algunos están entrando al edificio. They were able to see how many uh, we had that service. Y pudieron ver cuántos estuvimos en ese servicio. It was a Thursday night. Fue un jueves en la noche. Right now we're only having the service Thursday and Sunday. Ahorita solo tenemos servicio los jueves y los domingos. We pray with the help of the Lord. Pero oramos que con la ayuda del Señor. We can add another service. Podemos agregar otro servicio. This is just a little bit of what God is doing. Y esto solo es un poco de lo que Dios está haciendo. And I, uh, I ask you to please keep us in your prayer. Y le pido que por favor manténganos en sus oraciones. Your prayers are so important. Sus oraciones son tan importantes. They are crucial. Son cruciales. You see, it's not about just gaining numbers. But it's about soul winning. It's about delivering souls from the gates of hell. And opening up, opening up a path to heaven. Alongside us. In God's one fold. Coming to know the church of God. You see, there's so much confusion out there in the world. And they may read that there is one church. And they may be a little confused. And have a misconception of the, of the gathering of the, of the one fold. They think that God will take some from a little here and a little there. But you see what the Bible says. That the all the sheep of God must have must enter in that one fold. And when they come under the banner of the church of God, and she reaches perfection, then Jesus Christ will come for her. But we, church of God members, have a lot of work to do. In our local churches, in our neighborhoods, in our workplaces, wherever we go, we must preach the message of Jesus Christ in the church of God. Hallelujah, they are waiting for that message. But who will carry it? It's up to you. It's up to me. That's my evangelism. Praise the Lord. Now on to the message that uh, I've been given tonight. I really rejoice for the theme of this uh, winter retreat. Members one of another. You hear that church? Members one of another. And this message is titled One Body. With the scripture given in Romans 12:5. We read in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. So we, being many, are one body in Christ. Can we all say one together? One. Are one body in Christ. Un cuerpo en Cristo. And every one members one of another. Mas todos miembros los unos de los otros. I'll say that again. So we. Así que nosotros. So we. Nosotros. Being many. Somos muchos. Are one body in Christ. Los unos somos un cuerpo en Cristo. And every one. Mas todos. Members. Miembros. One of another. Los unos de los otros. We can see how the apostle Paul. Podemos ver como el apóstol Pablo. An apostle. Telling the Gentile church that though they be many, they're all part of the same body. They're all part of the same body. 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 The church of God. The church of God. But why was it so important? Pero por qué era tan importante that he had to mention it to his letter to the church in Rome. Que tenía que mencionarlo a su en su carta a la iglesia en Roma. Why? Why must he have written that to the church in Rome? Por qué tuvo que escribir esto a la iglesia en Roma? We can see that there were different different ministries. Podemos ver que eran diferentes ministerios operating inside the church. Que estaban operando dentro de la iglesia. And some had a measure of faith. Y algunos tenían una medida de fe. As God had given up to them. Como Dios les había dado a ellos. This was not a reason. Esto es por motivo. 
contigo for a reason for them to believe that they were better than others. Para que, para que ellos no creyeran que ellos eran mejores que otros. But they had to remember Pero tenían que acordarse that they were all part of the same body. Que todos eran parte de un mismo cuerpo. That they belonged with each other. Que ellos pertenecían per 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 tenían que pertenecer juntos. And to each other. Y para uno del otro. And they were all needed inside the body. Y todos eran necesitados dentro del cuerpo. They were all needed inside the body. Todos eran necesitados dentro del cuerpo. Does this relate to our biological family? ¿Verdad que eso también se puede relacionar con nuestra familia biológica? In our family? En nuestra familia? If you have brothers or sisters? Si usted tiene, si usted tiene hermanos o hermanas? Uncles, aunts? Tíos, tías? Cousins, primos? Nephews, nieces? Sobrinos, sobrinas? Grandparents? Abuelos? They all have different talents. Todos tienen talentos diferentes. Some are good at cooking. Algunos son buenos para cocinar. And some might be good at eating. Y tal vez algunos son buenos para comer. But they're all still your family. Whether they may be burning up the food. Si ellos están quemando la comida. While others are busy cooking the food. Mientras otros están, algunos están comiendo la comida y otros están haciéndola. They are still part of your family. Todavía son parte de su familia. And because they are your family. Y porque son su familia. It makes them so valuable. Ellos son tan valiados. It grants them a great importance. Ellos tienen gran importancia. Inside of your family. Is that not right? I have three boys. Yo tengo tres hijos, niños. And although many of them say, many people say that they look alike. Y aunque muchas personas nos dicen que se miran iguales. I still see differences in them three. Yo aún miro diferencias entre ellos tres. They don't think the same. No piensan igual. They don't like the same colors. No les gustan los mismos colores. No, do they like the same food? Ni tampoco les gusta la misma comida. But you see, they are still brothers. Pero aún son hermanos. And they still know. Y ellos aún saben. Who they are a part of. De quién son parte. And we, as members of the body of Christ. Y nosotros como miembros del cuerpo de Cristo. I'm not saying that we think differently according to doctrine. No estoy diciendo que pensamos diferente de acuerdo a la doctrina. Or that we think differently according to the advice of members. Porque pensamos diferente sobre los consejos de los miembros. But what I'm saying is that maybe just right now we may not see eye to eye just yet. Pero lo que estoy diciendo es que ahorita tal vez no miramos ojo a ojo. But that still doesn't give no reason for us to believe. Pero eso no nos da una razón para que nosotros creamos. That we don't belong one to another. We still, we still serve the same God. We still rely on the same rock. We still feed on the Word of God. Oh, my God. 
seems like that hug just fills your heart. It, it seems like all, all that all that weight that you had before coming in was just cast down. Hallelujah. Praise God. And in the breaking of bread. And in prayers. I don't know about you, but I see ABM all over this world. And doing this brought fear. And fear came upon every soul. And many wonders and signs were done for the apostles. You see, if we abide in the word of God, it will bring fear in the people of God. Not fear as if you're scared. But a fear of honor. And reverence. To the mighty God. And it says that many wonders and signs. Were done by the apostles. That's not something of old. It's just something we still see today. Hallelujah. And all that believe. You see, we all have to believe. And all that believed were together. And had all things common. It says that all believed. Therefore, they were all together. It is impossible to have divisions. If we all believe the same thing. You see, because I speak Spanish. And someone speaks Portuguese. That shouldn't, that shouldn't create division between me and him. We still believe the same thing. You see, our general officer was just in Brazil. And the primary language there is Portuguese. Uh, I know the general officer for many years. Before he was a general officer. Um, and I don't think he knows Portuguese. But you see something that he does know. And the saints go in Brazil. It's the spirit of God. And because we know the spirit of God. We can worship together. In the spirit of holiness. In the spirit of worship. Before God. Hallelujah. So therefore it is impossible. To have divisions. If we all believe the same thing. We all believe in the word of God. We all believe the same doctrine. The Bible hasn't changed. The doctrine hasn't changed. We have the members of the same.
called me uh, several weeks ago during our service. Me llamó hace varias semanas durante nuestro servicio de escuela dominical. And uh, 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 the mission in Canapolis is a witness of that. Allí en la misión de Canapolis es un testigo de esto. And he called me uh, crying. Y él me llamó llorando. With a broken heart. Con un corazón quebrantado. And he said that his son had just suffered. Um, I think it's a, a, I don't know the medical term is, but a popping of the of the vein in the brain. No sé cuál es la terminología médica, pero su hijo había se le había reventado una vena en su en su cerebro. So he was bleeding from his brain. Así que él estaba sangrando de su de su cerebro. And that he needed urgent prayer. Y que él necesitaba oración urgente. Brother, I'm preaching now. Y le dije, hermano, estoy predicando ahorita. I'm going to join you in prayer. Pero voy a irme junto con usted en oración. I asked our church to rise. Y le pedí a nuestra iglesia que se levantara. Together we started praying. Y juntos empezamos a orar por esa necesidad. I told him, brother, you call me back. What you give? You have any news? Y le dije, hermano, usted llámeme de nuevo cuando usted tenga noticia. You see, physically I couldn't be there. Ve, físicamente yo no podía estar allí. And I can't do nothing to heal somebody. Y yo no puedo hacer nada para sanar a alguien. I have to call upon the one that came. Pero yo puedo llamar.
no such thing as a broken service. There won't be a time when you people get in your point and the preacher stop. You ever heard when they say I'm almost done? And it seems like they had another hour. And your stomach begins to rumble. Because you get hungry. But when the Holy Ghost is so real, you don't think about anything else. You just wait for him to start preaching and you go run to the altar. Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. 